Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today I would like to talk about electrolytes. What do you think when people say electrolytes? I bet in your mind comes like some sort of sport competition when they drink those colorful bottles of stuff because they deficient electrolytes and no one put one and one together what electrolytes are and how important they are for our bodily function. I think the reason is that because they unlike um, um, vitamins they're not uh, they're not manifest themselves as important things until you know people are deficient in them and then it's become a serious issue because side effects when you're deficient in one <clears throat> or couple electrolytes are quite significant however before I start my video can i please ask you a huge favor can you please subscribe to my channel like this video and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos also this video and any many other videos on my channel come under umbrella trust me i'm not a doctor i'm not a doctor i'm i'm, I'm a guy that uh, creating lifestyle by reading a lot of research trying to understand how human body works and trying to access wealth of knowledge through holistic approach all right let's talk about electrolyte what electrolytes are what electrolyte is it's substance that conducts electricity when dissolved in the water what we know by now we know that uh, our body works in the electrical impulses and we know that it consists of a lot of liquid. So if we lack in either that liquid or we lack electrolytes, our body is not function well. And it's important for our cells and other tissues and muscles to work properly. Um, it mostly it's mostly work on a level which I call automatic level. So things that you know work in a subconscious mind for example you unlikely to be able to control uh, much of the heart rate heart beats because other parts of the um, body are responsible of heart to, to work in a certain way and there's a lot of organs inside that um, have internal communication that work together and and they have very little influence on what you can do on how they work and most of those organs work um, uh, on with help of electrolytes so muscle functions and and and, and neuron just firing and like brain functions all of that works uh, with the help of electrolytes so electrolytes most of the people know that electrolytes is more than one mineral and many people would know that sodium, potassium, and magnesium are main electrolytes. But also, as part of electrolytes, there's a calcium and bicarbonate and chloride and phosphate. So, what would happen if we get imbalance? There will be side effects. Let's first talk how we get imbalance because that's that's important bit. That's how, in the first place the triggered conversation about electrolytes because if there wouldn't be imbalance or deficiency we wouldn't be talking about this so let's talk about most common reason why humans become deficient in electrolytes unfortunately most common is dehydration or demineralization dehydration is when we're not drinking enough water that or, or, or liquid that hydrates us demineralization mineral demineralization comes from <clears throat> flushing minerals out of the body and you know it's good if you're flushing them out uh, uh, during a sport activity it's not good but it's not one of the positive uh, reasons one of the negative reasons is for example alcohol consumption um, alcohol consumption would basically with um, liquid that flush it out of the system also flush a lot of minerals also uh, imbalance comes as a result of poor diet our diets are based on um, a lot of salt and salt as a sodium main part of electrolyte 
So for example, if salt is positively charged electron and potassium is negatively charged, and if one is strong and another is not strong, the, the spark is not happening. So the balance of electrolytes is most important. It's not like you can go hard at one and neglect other one. And um, so what do we do to ensure we've got proper um, electrolyte balance in the body? First of all, we need to consume foods that are rich in electrolytes. Um, I would say most of the vegetables would be, but the reason why I say most, because there's a biggest trend grow, growing now is to grow um, vegetables hydroponically. If you think how vegetables get in the nutrients from and minerals, they're getting them from the soil. So if our soil gets in denatured, if our vegetables grow in hydroponically, yes, they may have same shape and same color, even better because they're genetically modified or something, but it's not magically that minerals can appear in our vegetables. So good source of organic vegetables is important for electrolytes. The second one is important is we are very heavy on sodium in our diet. The reason is that because sodium is one of the tastes that we're craving. Even when we're craving sweet, we're most likely craving sodium. So sodium is one of the, um, I guess, electrolytes that we're leaning on and forgetting potassium and magnesium. And if we've got deficiency in potassium, you may experience um, very common side effects like muscle twitch, like weakness. Um, sometimes even, you know, if you're very deficient, could uh, end up in uh, seizures and convulsions and all of that. If you, if you are deficient in magnesium, for example, you may um, find it's hard to fall asleep or keep asleep because magnesium is supposed to calm us. Magnesium got other interesting um, um, effects on our body, but you know what's important is not to have one and be deficient another one. So what I would suggest, because the sodium is so available around us, I would suggest first of all um, observe what's going around you. So for example, if you uh, you know unfortunately get sick or something, you got. Uh, uh, diarrhea or <clears throat> vomiting, you may actually um, be def very deficient in electrolytes. So it's a one part. Second one, if you live in the in the hot countries and you dehydrate, you may like that um, liquid bit that you may have enough electrolytes, but because they cannot dissolve in liquid, you may not have proper um, electrical firings in your in your in your uh, body. Uh, if you do a lot of sport and you sweat a lot, you will be deficient in electrolytes. This is why we'll probably see a lot of sportsmen drinking electrolytes. It's actually keep those muscles going. If you find yourself that you, um, you have struggled to fall asleep or stay asleep, one of the reasons besides stress could be lack of magnesium, could be that. So if you got like eye twitch or cheek twitch or um, or any other twitch or you're skipping heartbeat, there could be indication you may lack in potassium. So I think I think you got the uh, message, and and you would ask me how how I would make sure that I got enough electrolytes in my in my diet. Look, I don't know what you what your diet is and. Um, I know for sure that my diet is okay, but the level of activity I have, I was at some stage deficient in potassium. And I think I created a video about potassium, I will link it down below. And that I thought, you know, the whole idea of the channel, it's actually to squash those common beliefs. Um, because the more I read scientific literature, I more, I more understand the human body and where things come from. So common belief was if you lack in potassium, eat more bananas. And unfortunately, I was getting more fructose from bananas than potassium because to get daily recommended potassium um, level from bananas, I need to eat 10 bananas. It's almost impossible. 
So I suggest to understand what electrolytes you may be missing and supplement. Uh, I may create a separate video on magnesium because there's a number of magnesium types that um, as a supplement available. In Australia, we're a little bit uh, more unfortunate that America, we don't have quality magnesium in, 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 in our pharmacies. So most of common type magnesium, we've got uh, uh, magnesium uh, oxide that comes with the cheapest form of uh, magnesium that almost inefficient because the uh, chelation process. Um, there's a different magnesium for different purpose and I probably create separate video on magnesiums but uh, potassium I'll put link down below you can get very cheap on Amazon Australia I think last time I bought uh, uh, a kilo of potassium pure uh, uh, like a food grade of potassium for 29 dollars a kilo that kilo of potassium should be enough for me uh, for half year and I, I do exercise a lot so uh, sodium, don't worry about sodium. Uh, only reason to worry about sodium is when you're consuming those uh, uh, cheap, um, you know, um, white um, salt. Uh, try to use, uh, consume more like Himalayan salt or sea salt. Don't use this uh, iodized, um, uh, cheap uh, table salts. You know, spend a couple of more dollars on a quality salt. But I, we, I think we all have enough salt on our diet. Um, I think supplement with more potassium, supplement with more magnesium, and you'll see quality of life, energy uh, will increase in your body. Your sleep increases. Um, if you had any twitches or skipping heartbeat, <clears throat> that would should go away too. So look after your electrolyte levels, especially if you're working hard, if it's hot, if you're working out as a sportsman. Um, and hydrate yourself so you have good ratio of electrolytes and liquid in the body. I may create another video on magnesium. I think potassium. I just finished video creating. It will be published soon. Um, hopefully, um, you find this video helpful for you. And if you need more information, I just don't want to dive more into biology of the things. I wanted to give enough information for you to make uh, decisions. Hopefully, that's enough information for you to act on. Um, on electro electrolytes if you need more information please put comments down below and i create another video where i describe uh, how things work a little bit more in detail for now thank you so, so much for watching again if you like this video thumbs up subscribe hit the bell button until next time greg from brisbane